Good day everyone! I am Noella Mira Mira Strasagaswa from ABM 11A and today I'm going to show you how to make a volcano model. So, here are the materials that we are going to use. Of course, the bottle. This is the important material. Second is the baking soda and vinegar. Don't forget the food color and the dishwashing soap. Floor, scissor, pencil, and used paper. And last but not the least, the bags. Other decorative materials are optional and depends on what design you like. So, the materials are now complete. Let's begin to make the volcano model! First is you need to cut the side of the backs. Then apply 2 inch allowance below. Second is you need to trace the mouth of the bottle. After you trace it, carefully cut the mouth of the bottle. And now, tape the folder to the bottle to make a cone shape. Continue to tape the folder until you are satisfied with the shape of the cone. I painted the backs for the background of the volcano. I also added some clouds for details. And added some thunder. I put the bottle in the middle of the box and start putting paper with paste. I used clay to finalize my volcano. And also, I just want to thank my friend for helping and guiding me in making my volcano project. After you finish the volcano, you can design it anything you want. I also painted the bags with color blue to make it look like a beach. I designed the beach or the ocean because every time I see the beach, it feels comfort and relaxing and makes me forget all my problem. I put small stone and fake sand to make it more realistic. And I added small toys like dinosaurs. More trees And I also put lettering on the front of my volcano model
how to make the volcano erupt. First thing you need to do is put the vinegar. Balance the right amount because it depends on the size of your bottle. Second is to put the dishwashing liquid for the bubbles. Third is put food color, it's either red or orange, for the lava to make it more realistic. And last but not the least, put the baking soda and watch what will happen. Wow! What difference did you observe between the simulated volcano and an actual volcano? Well, the difference that I observed between these two is that the simulated volcano needs someone to make the chemical reaction, needs someone to make the volcano erupt, while in the actual volcano, it will erupt on its own. And other difference that I observed is that their size. As you can see, the actual volcano is very big no compared to the simulated volcano. The actual volcano contains hot lava or magma, gaseous sulfur, steam, ashes, and pyroclastic material which is very dangerous to people, animals, plants, and to its surrounding area. Not like in the simulated volcano, it only contains baking soda, food color, dishwashing liquid, and vinegar which is not dangerous to us or to all living organisms. What are some of the consequences of volcanic eruption? How might an eruption change the area surrounding the volcano? Just like what I said earlier, volcanic eruption is very dangerous to all of us. It can dramatically destroy our surroundings such as agriculture. All plants can be wiped out. Just like what my father said, all of their plants destroyed when the Mount Pinatubo erupted. And another thing, it can trigger earthquakes and tsunamis, which leads to damage and crack to man-made structures such as buildings, houses, roads, and highways. And the most scary one is it can affect people and animals' health because asphalt is very dangerous to our respiratory system. It can contaminate water, damage vehicles, and lastly, you will have a blurry vision and you cannot see clearly because of the asphalt. Based on what you observe from the demonstration, what do you think you might see, hear, and smell near a real erupting volcano? I think I might see a heavy smoke, just like in the Taal volcano, and all the things and the ground will be shaking because of the earthquake, and of course, the lava. The surrounding will be also blurry because of the ash fall, and the clouds will be dark, and there's thunder because of the friction. I think I might hear a loud explosion, boiling, bursting bubbles, or roaring like a jet engine. I think the erupting volcano will smell like a rotten egg because of the sulfur and the gases it contains like water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, and hydrogen sulfide. What will you do before, during, and after the volcanic eruption? So the things that we need to do before a volcanic eruption are first is prepare an emergency kit with essentials such as food, water, radio, flashlight, documents, and most important than N95 face mask, eye protection, goggles. Second is be ready for evacuation and make a sheltering plan for yourself, your family, and any other members of your household. And third is review the plans and double check that everyone is on the same page. During a volcanic eruption, first thing you need to do is do not panic. Close all the doors, windows, and stay away from it. Second is to wear your mask, goggles, and as much as possible cover skin because the ash is dangerous to us. 
and third, check your family members and also your pets. And lastly, after a volcanic eruption, things you need to do is to stay calm. Always wear your goggles, face mask, and long sleeve to avoid the ash fall. And third, as much as possible, do not go outside that quickly. Clean your house, clean the vegetables and fruits before you eat them, cover your food and water. And fourth, listen to radio for any updates. What have you learned from the simulation? So, lastly, I have learned from the simulation is that you need to follow the instructions carefully. Balance the ingredients for you to be able to successfully erupt the volcano. Also, I have learned that a volcanic eruption is really dangerous to all of us. We cannot predict a volcanic eruption, so we need to prepare every time, before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. I remember the song, when you try your best but you don't succeed, and I think that's perfectly okay because sometimes we fail, sometimes we do our best, but we don't expect the outcome. And fourth is, you will overcome all your problems because problems have solution. And keep in mind that forget the mistake, remember the lesson. Don't forget to put color in the dishwashing soap. Of this volcano, however, huh? that simulated milk. So, I think this is the end of my video presentation. I just want to say thank you for my cousin and to my friend for helping me to make my volcano project. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching. Bye!